Hi, friends, welcome back to Alice Play World. Bringing you some more Heroes of the Storm. Today we're playing Major Tool because it's been a long time and I miss him. I serve. Welcome to the Curse Hall. Enemy team is Zul, Li Ming, Rainer, Hammer, and Zeratul. Friendly team Li Ming, Zeratul, Jaina, Zul, and Greyman. Okay, so this is looking pretty difficult as a dive comp. So we're going to try to do our best to stay away, and I think Major Tool might be the good choice. Of course, the first time we're going to be picking up, contrary to popular belief, it's going to be Region Master. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of health of regen per second every health over we give, and I think that's going to be necessary to stay alive in this game because it's going to look pretty scary. Okay, let's go ahead and do the gang squad in the bottom lane with Greymane. Hopefully, this Azul will rotate with us, or at the very least, Lee Ming, to try to pick up the early kill. we got to watch out for the enemy zero tool. we got to watch out for the enemy Lee Ming at range, and of course, we got a dive hammer. That's a very, very scary comp to be a really squishy stealth assassin to. Uh, so we'll see how well we do. We don't have a tank, so <laughs> I don't have a lot of faith, but this should be fun nonetheless. Let's go ahead and check out that bush. Uh, nobody here so far. It looks like the enemy zero to already there in the top lane. And the main thing we're doing is just scouting out to make sure nothing scary is here. The enemy Zul is here already in this particular push. So we're going to wait here and see what he does. The friendly team. Oh, we actually, we might be able to pick up a kill here if he goes back this way. All right, let's go ahead and engage on him. Trying to slow him down. Here comes the friendly gray main. He's going to do a lot of damage. We're going to try to slow him down as best we can. And it looks like the prison is good enough to actually save his life. We're going to get away from that. But it looks like we're going to be able to rotate to the top here. And trying to get behind Hammer is in a little bit of a scary spot. Of course, the biggest thing is to make sure we pick up damage right there on Zeratul. Force the blink back the other way. It looks like he gets away. However, Li Ming doing a ton of damage with that orb almost punishes him enough. We're going to try to rotate and get behind Hammer again. The main thing here is to try to do as much damage as possible. But, uh, but without committing ourselves too badly. Let's go ahead and engage right here. Trying to move out of the way. <laughs> we got a little bit carried away. The person should be good enough to pick up some damage there. We do secure the kill right there. Can't really chase that Sarah tool. It looks like both our teammates here in the middle lane get away with it. Pretty good gameplay from everybody involved so far. It looks like Jaina doing a great job of pushing Lee Ming to the top. So I will rotate there. See if we can get a pick on her. If Jaina gets a little overextended, she might be able to shove. Or the friendly team here in the middle lane about to get pushed. So I might, might as well just turn around and go in from behind. We do have that blink, which is a really useful weapon. Oh, I thought it was going to pick up the kill. We do secure the kill there with a the cleave. As this guy moved to the last second, we are able to pick up the orb. And now we'll rotate to the top lane where I want it to go. Make sure we try to get a kill on that Lee Ming. The main thing with Zero Tool, Major Tool in particular, is to try to put fear into the souls of your enemies. We're going to try to go in here super aggressive. Wait for the friendly team to see what happens. So we're going to grab uh, deals area damage and slows for singularity spike. And the mo main thing is to try to keep it steady. Good Blizzard. Oh, we actually get a little bit of damage. But there we throw out the Singularity Spike. Slow her down. Pick up the kill. And then move away at the last second. Securing the kill. Jaina should be able to back away here with no issues. We will pick up the Healing Orb. And then just make sure we hold the lane for her momentarily as she should be back. Of course, the enemy Saratul. Nowhere to be found right now, which is a good thing for us as we don't want to be dealing with him. He's not really counterplaying us as well as he should have. And that is a really, really good sign. We're going to head to the bottom because, of course, we do know that that lane's already pushed. We need to get some more region orbs. It definitely feels like the thing to do. Of course, the enemy Zeratul jumping in here. Go ahead and jump in. Oh! Singularity Spike comes out. That will slow him down enough to take a little bit of damage. However, we take a lot of licks from those towers. We're forced to go back. And that Rainer punishing us for diving a little bit too deep. So we're going to have to go all the way home. But that's quite all right. Not a big deal. The next tribute is spawning. We will just take a little bit of health. And the moment we hit back, there we go. We're back to full. We'll hit back. Luckily, we have enough poke damage to stop that. Uh, so far, we do have 4,000 4, hero damage done. Keeping up with Lee Ming, we got to continue to poke to keep that trend going. We're, I don't think we're going to be able to damage her, but we're going to be able to do a lot of poke damage and make sure the enemy team pays great engagement right there. Big singularity spike in the back end there. Let's go ahead and engage right here from Zul. Oh, we're going to try to do a little bit of poke damage, but of course, this is not looking too good for the friendly team. So we're going to begin to engage from the other side. Two seconds, one second for a singularity spike. We pick up the kill right here on this guy, I think. As we poured away, but we do get taken down. Almost picked up the kill there on Hammer, where the front team unable to follow through as we got cut off on this side. And it looks like the enemy is still doing a good job picking up the kill there on Greyman. Thanks to the person, they clean him up, and that was devastating. Three kills to four. The enemy team picking up the lead and the tribute here in the mid game. Sorry, in the early game. Three minutes in the mid game. This guy. Who does he think he is? All right. <laughs> I apologize about that. I'm just, I just, I just tired, right? It's been a long day. We actually had a power outage, so I've been trying to record for hours, and it couldn't because well, uh, internet, internet outage rather, uh, because somebody ran into the fiber optic cables. So we didn't have internet, didn't have an ETA. It was quite devastating. So uh, it, it, was, it was, this video is a long time in the making. Let's go ahead and engage right here on Rainer, just trying to poke him, do a little bit of damage, make sure he returns. We can't really dive that hammer. He's in the safety of his fort, and uh, I definitely need to get that orb. Thank you, sir. For now, we will just keep rotating me, pick up a kill down there in the bottom lane. The next time we're going to be picking up is going to be 
Shadow Spike, no decloak and increased range and singularity spike. This is what makes Major Tool, Major Tool, We're gonna be able to do some nonsense right here. We're gonna be able to do a ton of damage right there on Sul. That shield was unexpected. We're gonna be forced to go back. We do take a lot of damage with the size we get taken down. The friendly Grayman engaging there on the wrong target, I would argue. Come on, pick up a kill. There we go. He cleans up house, not trying to go really deep on her. Throws out some damage to Max Green Orb, unable to catch her. He takes a lot of damage from these minions, but so far one to one. Now the enemy hammer already in position. Sewell and the friendly Jaina pick up a kill here on Rain. That was a big pick, as now we have a slight numerical advantage as they begin to push here. The main thing is to dive that hammer. Those mines, of course, being really problematic. We're able to secure the majority of the territory and hammer trying to jump in there does not attack leaving and he's out of position so we get the tribute great blizzard he picks up a ton of damage now they got to retreat keeping an eye for the enemy zero so i'm going to go super deep in case they want to chase we're just going to keep ourselves in a good position right here is the enemy team not really opting to do that that's quite all right so for now we'll go here big singularity spike on top of our cleave does a ton of damage and then we teleport away to make sure hammer does not blow us up a little too late as we can't really follow through anymore now we will rotate to the bottom lane to try to grab that need to get more on those region orbs we only have seven so we definitely want to make sure we're picking those up whenever we see somebody in lane oh let's go ahead and pick up some damage right here singularity spike max range don't quite land it it looks like a friendly team doing a little bit of an exchange right there but they get away with it so i'm gonna go back here to the bottom and make sure I actually click that to grab that region orb I desperately needed. Gotta make sure I keep getting that health region. Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to do the guerrilla warfare necessary to stay on top of these builds. We lose the enemies, the friendly zoo in the middle lane. And the next ruby is spawning on the top there. Number two. So not really a need, a need to commit too much for this one. But definitely want to delay it so we don't have to fight necessarily for the last one. Jaina doing a good job of staying there on the top lane. Maybe growing a little bit of XP to get that level 10. This will be huge. I'm actually going to go here and do precisely that. Uh, going in really deep on, on the, this little baby girl right there, doing a lot of damage. We pick up that level 10, and I am going to grab Shadow Assault. That's a questionable choice if I ever saw one. We're going to try to get out of the way right here and just juke the enemy zero to get ourselves in a good position as we come back to stealth. And the reason why we're doing Shadow Assault rather than anything sensible is because, oh man, is because I think it's going to pay off in a long run. Like, <laughs> I'm going to have to land a really good Void Prism to make it significant. With Shadow Assault, I can just go sort of deep. Oh, great Void Prism. Speaking of, the enemy Zero Jewel picks up a lot of damage. We're going to be able to punish this Rainer right here significantly. He does take a little bit of damage there from being slowed down. And now we're going to get out of the way of the Scythe, but we're very low. Need to make sure we teleport away. We managed to make it out in the nick of time. The friendly Leeming chucking mighty spells over the wall. Keeps us safe. And we're going to be able to survive and make it out, of course. Oh, that just got shot right in the face. I thought he was going to be able to make it. And then this giant missile comes flying from across the battlefield. Picks him up right in the face. And it looks like we do lose one member of the friendly team. 8,000 hero damage. And Jaina at 15,000. The enemy leaving at 12,000. Of course, 9 kills to 9. And that was really, really close. Um, however, the enemy team definitely getting a little, little bit of a, of a better trade there. Although we did get the tribute. They got a little bit of licks in. So now we're going to go really deep right here on, on this uh, hammer. The main thing is to land that right there. Go on him. Try to do as so much damage as we can. Popping that chase. Trying to go as aggressive as we can. But of course, we do get prison. And now this is a problem because we're just going to get taken down. That was an issue. That was a misplay from us. Uh, I did not think that the prison would happen. Like, it looks like I auto-attacked and got further away from when I wanted to be. That's quite all right, though. Big commitment there for no reason. Couldn't quite burst hammer down yet. So it was a little bit of a free kill and a little bit of a throw there. Three times dead, three killing blows. So, so far, not a great performance, but we are sort of seeing a little bit of improvements here in the mid game. Although we lose Jaina for the next tribute, we might as well let this one go, I think. Just try to poke and then just back away because we really don't have the firepower to contest it. It looks like Terrence is going to go super deep right there. And there really is no need to do anything else. So we're going to park ourselves right here just to make sure we have a little bit of vision. If the enemy team decides to chase, we will be able to see them and then do something about it. But for now, it looks like they're not going to. So quite all right. We'll just go back to the middle lane. Big engagement right there. Our friendly Zool gets prisoned. Tons of damage going out every which way. And it looks like a great engagement there from the friendly Grayman. We do pick up yet another kill. Big Singularity Spike. And then let's go ahead and just teleport for days. Shadow Assault makes an appearance finally in the game and it looks like he did well let's go ahead and engage right there and then blink away from Saratul. he does do a little bit of damage we just want to make sure he's not getting on our friends and that arcane orb was a little threatening but really not too scary other than that let's go ahead and head to the bottom lane the next tribute spawning almost immediately 12 seconds to go the friendly team with a good opportunity to get in a good position here i definitely want to go and get that orb though because remember we definitely need it let's go ahead and engage right there on Saratul, blinking away we trade singularity spike to trade cleaves and then let him go that's the that's the spirit the next time we're gonna picking up is gonna be I'm thinking of grabbing Spell Shield, to be quite honest. I'm taking a lot of damage. Giant Killer would be good, too. Wormhole would be good. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I think we're going to grab... We're going to grab... 
Yeah, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab a little bit. We're taking too much damage from that from that da spells in the back lane, so this should be fine. Let's go ahead and engage right there on Zeratul. Big singular spike. Thinking, trying to predict where he was gonna land. Didn't quite do it. So that's quite alright. Let's go ahead and head this way. We get avoid prison by the enemy Zeratul. Get taken down. Of course, the friendly team trying to chase here. Oh, the BFG was severe. But we should be able to decide that great little push there from Jaina. Let's go ahead and engage on her. Oh, Singularity Spike goes down on her. Does a lot of damage. We're trying to get away from the Zeratul. But we're going to take a lot of damage. We managed to get out of the way at the last second before he picks us up. We should be able to go home. Great Blister. They pick up the kill. We pick up the curse. The friendly team back in the top as they get a double kill there on Hammer as well. So it was really, really big plays from the friendly team. We managed to just avoid enough nonsense in the end to survive. We pick up the kill 16 kills the 14 14,000 hero damage done Jaina 19,000 the enemy looming at 19,000 and it looks like hammer with a really respectable 18,000 as well so everybody doing a lot of damage a lot of deaths as you wouldn't expect when you have this much firepower everywhere so we're gonna try to go in here and do precisely that just trying to do a little bit of singularity spikes right there trying to poke him but it looks like Sewell in a good spot to defend that we do grab that bottom four it might be able to grab the top one as well the main thing is to try to hook up with the friendly team to make sure we get some kills. I will deny this vision for now. The main thing is to try to make sure that they don't know if we're going to stay in the bottom lane so we can rotate to the middle and maybe get another four kills. There are two already there. It looks like Hammer putting himself in a good position. Let's go ahead and throw out the Singularity Spike. Does land right there. We're going to be able to do a ton of damage. And we're going to be pushed back the Shadow Soul. Not quite as effective. We do delay enough to pick up the kill in the Ford. And then walk away as we pick up yet another level. Two level experience. Two level advantage now. And we're going to grab double bombs. King cast Singularity Spike twice. Remember, from stealth, this puts us in a really, really good spot. Of course, all the lanes push severely. Now we just got to take care of that top four. And we're going to be part of the right. 14 healing orbs. So we need to try to get a couple more. I will do just that right now. Make sure we help Jaina and Zul push this lane. Let me pick up some kills. Look to the enemy team near the boss. Uh, might be a good opportunity to get another engagement. And the friendly team saying, listen, it's already 16. Maybe it's time to do it. I'm going to go into the bush to make sure I see them. Big Singularity Spike right there. And we're going to jump in. Great. Okay, <laughs> that was just awesome. And now we're going to go super deep right here. Trying to chase this guy. He's going to take a lot of damage. We're going to chase as aggressively as we can. And pick up the kill there with Grayman. Even though we take a couple licks from the tower. Who cares? That dive was well worth it. And now the friendly team wants to go for a boss engagement. I think that's a good move. No matter what, of course. And we see that the enemy living is up here to the top lane. So we will go up here and try to deny this stuff. Just try to keep her engaged and annoyed. Looks at like the friendly team. Should be able to secure the kill on this boss. I would just guard the back lane. Never mind. I'm just going to take an orb to the face. That's what I'll do. I'm just trying to keep her occupied. Oh, let's go ahead and back away as the enemy team begins to chase. Great engagement there from Jaina. And let's not go ahead and get to the bush anymore. The friendly team secures the boss. It means let's not dick around anymore. But it's like a risk of kill, an unnecessary death. It looks like our Grayman doesn't really listen and gets taken down. So for now, we're going to back away. Hopefully, grab our own boss while the enemy team deals with this one. If we can, at the very least, get that, get that fort, uh, that would be a good pickup because that will give us 100% map control. Of course, we also got to be present on the fact that they, if they get the next fury, that's a curse. So we might have to abandon this. We're going to be ready to just move if it spawns on the top side. So I'm going to go down to the bottom try to help this uh, leaming out. It looks like the enemy team already engaged right there. They do lose a fort. So I'm going to try to engage right here do as much damage as I can. Uh, I don't really want to tank it, but it looks like it's my duty as I really don't have, we don't have that many other options. So we'll sit here and take a lot of damage until the very end, then we'll just blink out casually like, oh, I don't even want to be here, man. And our friendly team should be able to secure that really quickly. However, the next, uh, tribute spawning, and I don't have a healing well in the middle, so I'm going to have to head this way. Let the friendly team know us. I took a little too much damage, so we'll secure that. And then go that way to try to get in a good position. Of course, Hammer has, has had ample time to get herself in a good spot. And that's a bit of a problem. Although we do have a long range snipe. That was an absurd amount of damage from the friendly team. Let's go ahead and engage right here. Singularity Spike coming out. Another Singularity Spike. We do secure the kill, but very low. We need to avoid that poison damage. It looks like we may get out alive. I'm going to try to go the long way around us. I can't really afford to take any more damage. We killed Sarah Duel. We picked up another kill. And now it's a matter of us getting to the backside and picking up more damage. It looks like Hammer going down as well. The friendly team doing a great job of cleaning up house. And then we'll just get ourselves in an aggressive position in case the enemy team wants anything to do with us. It looks like they don't, though. Big push here every which way. And now we should be able to secure some kills. Grab yet another healing orb. And begin to shove this middle lane as well because we do have a good presence right there on the bottom. Let's go ahead and do two, two singularity spikes. Do a little bit more damage and get away with it. We need, need some minions though. We can't really continue to push this anymore. So I'm going to rotate to the bottom. Maybe get a little bit of damage on Zul there and back away as our cooldowns are about to be back. He is doing quite a bit of damage. His cooldowns are down. Does he get stunned? We're going to be able to soften him off quite a little bit and scare him off. He's going to begin to chase us though. But that's quite alright as we did the damage. Now we're just going to leave. 
make sure the enemy team that is first respawning does not catch up to us. As we look at the stats, 23 kills to 16, 21,000 hero damage, pretty good stuff. Jane at 26, Siren Hammer at 26, and of course, Siege Wise, 57,000 for Sewell and 68,000 for the enemy Leeming, respectively. Alright, pretty good stuff so far. The friendly team in dominant, dominant position with a couple levels uh, advantage and complete map control. We have minions, we have map, we have uh, vision on all three lanes. This bottom lane is really severely pushing, even though they get giants. We have giants going in the top lane. But again, the enemy team one curse away from turning things around, so we gotta make sure we keep on the Dominion, make sure we keep the enemy team on the back leg. And ready to make a move whenever the next few response. It looks like it is on the top left, so we're gonna grab some vision right here, deny them this, and then head back up there. It looks like they were to engage in there. They're great blizzard. There's quite a bit of damage. The enemy team going super aggressive. We're gonna try to do a singularity spike right here twice in a row. And then just trying to poke to keep the enemy team behind us. Level 20, we're gonna grab that rewind that's gonna make four singularity spikes if we time it correctly. It's gonna do a lot, a lot of damage. Of course, the enemy Zeratul right here, we're gonna try to engage on him. Try to blink out of the way though, as we took a, the brunt of that damage right to the face. And now we're gonna try to go stealth again and try to get back into the other side. We need to we need to poke desperately. Uh, we need to teleport out of the way actually because they already grabbed the, the tribute. Let's go ahead and do a singularity spike. We almost get taken down, but the enemy team with that curse at the last second. We're gonna be forced to go back out of here. I'm gonna go all the way back home, make sure I top off. We're gonna lose a couple of forts. That's quite all right. We do have at the very least some giants there, although Zeratul is dealing with them that would stall the top lane. The main thing we need to do now is deal with this. Bottom lane as quickly as possible to try to get back to the top and defend it. Uh, there are no bosses up, so there's really not too much damage we can take. It looks like the majority of the friendly team heading to the bottom, so I will head to the middle. Try to clear out that lane and, of course, then join Li Ming on the top to defend that Zul already here. Picks up the fort kill before I can do anything. And it looks like the friendly team in a little bit of a precarious situation right now. As we did take a little too much damage. I got too overly excited right there. I don't know why I went so deep. We should be able to clear out that lane really quickly. Make sure we get that region orb. Thank you. And now this score is not really that effective anymore. Although Jaina taking a lot of damage though. And that's a great little damage here. Let's go ahead and put up some damage and then teleport away. Let's go ahead and hit up the healing wall. Almost get taken down by that big blunt force gun. And actually I don't know what kills us. But that was devastating. We did pick up a double kill. Our friendly Zul doing a lot of damage. Great prison there is going to pick up hammer. And it looks like both these guys very low on health are going to make it out with poison. And all kinds of nonsense. But two kills for two. The enemy team definitely coming ahead on that trade and XP. Only one level advantage now. They do pick up two forts. This is bottom one about to go down to these minions. So all this one, they're very much back in the game. Though now we don't have the pressure of that looming curse. Which means we can pick our fights yet again. Looking at stats really quickly. 25 kills to 19. We have died four times with eight killing blows. Not too bad. 25,000 damage. 32,000 damage for Jaina, 35,000 for the enemy Hammer, who's been doing an exceptional job of finding good spots. That stealth is super annoying. And of course, just by the mere nature of her comp makes it very difficult because we gotta get to her, and that means we gotta get in the way of Li Ming's damage, and we gotta get in the way of the Zeratul ganks, and Rainer just right clicking to win, let alone that prison from the enemy Sula. So pretty good stuff. Jaina trying to do a little Pokeroo there, saying, oh, maybe they're going for their boss, and that would be a big play from them, but we need to try to stop it. We do not have Void Prism. It looks like Jaina's gonna solo Zeratul, though. I missed it, but I'm sure it was delicious. We're gonna try to make it up here. Li Ming trying to chase aggressively. We need to converge on that immediately. We have a... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just read what she said. We need to go there immediately, try to converge in the friendly team and pick up some kills if we can. As it is and now the moment to make a play because we do not have to worry about that Zero duel. The uh, enemy team nowhere to be found so far. We missed the opportunity to grab that region orb, but we do push this middle lane severely. Let's get out of the way of that big fun, big gun. Big? What? BFG. Blunt force gun. I don't remember what it's called. It looks like Li Ming taking a lot of damage. It's going super aggressively right there. Here comes the Singularity Spike. Here comes the second one. We do pick up the kill. We're going to be able to walk away. However, it's still taking a lot of damage. Great little trick there. A little trick move there by the friendly team. Can we get back to the, uh, the wrong side? Big Singularity Spike. Not really close enough. We will. Oh, never mind. There it is. We pick up the kill on Zoom. I don't know if that was poison or the Singularity Spike. But either way, good trade as we pick up three kills for the price of two. And of course, Zeratul already dead means they're going to trickle, which means they have a little bit of time here. We're going to secure another healing orb, make sure we continue to push this lane, grab a little bit more experience, and then walk away. Oh, the enemy team engaging here. We're going to have to be forced to blink away immediately. Don't want to engage. And of course, the next three is spawning, so we're going to relocate over there. The enemy team reacting really quickly, and that BFG is being really, really annoying as it's beginning to whittle down our defenses, clearing out the middle lane a little bit more than it just should. And making it generally difficult for us to do anything about it. Two members of the friendly team dead. Two members of the enemy team dead. Of course, there are two already there trying to make something happen. But we need to be very careful about this next engagement. And make sure we get on the other side of this bush. And make sure we keep an eye on what's going on. Looks like we're going to take a little bit of damage right there. We do juke. And trying to eat the majority of this damage right there. 
Oh, we actually take way too much damage. There. We're gonna try to get out Zeratul in a good spot. I thought I put, I popped that, uh, um, so called that rewind, but it didn't actually quite happen. As I was gonna try to do my Singularity Spike, the friendly team doing a good job of stalling for now. I have very little health, and I need to get back in there. Of course, Li Ming taking a lot of damage, and we're gonna try to be forced to go back in here, do a little bit poke, great Blizzard, and can we get a max range Singularity Spike? Yes, we can. That's gonna slow her down just a little bit to keep her honest. And now we're gonna go super aggressively right here. Let's go ahead and pop the damage right there. Going to go super aggressive. We are teleporting to people, remember, as we're gonna port this way. Can we teleport? Nope. <laughs> I was trying to use a Shadow Assault to get out of the AoE. It looks like we actually fail on that. Jaina, very low. It's really not worth for her to engage this anymore. She should walk away. Although she's gonna get taken down here momentarily. Never mind, she chooks the Zul. And she's gonna be able to get out, but the Q is too strong. Finally, Rainer picks up the damage. And it looks like the enemy team is securing that tribute. It was quite a crazy thing. At the very least, we don't have the overall gun hitting our stuff anymore. But we still have a very, very significant push here in the middle lane. These towers completely out of ammo. The enemy team... I like you to be grinding those bosses, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, they're either going to go for a push here in one of the keeps or grab both of the bosses. Either way, they're going to get advantage as, uh, as it's Iron Look, they're like making a comeback. 31 kills to 26. We have 10 killing blows, 32,000 hero damage. Tied with our friendly Ming Jane at 41,000. The enemy's hammer at 45. So many people with high damage here. I think nobody, only one person at 20,000. Only one person below 30,000 so far. And that is the enemy Sul, who's at seven times. We've been punishing him quite effectively. However, this Li Ming gonna get a free keep right here as the rest of her team grabs a boss in all likelihood. We desperately need to make sure this is a kill. Grayman doing a good job engaging there, keeping her really honest. However, no, nah, never mind. No, however, she picks up the kill, no questions asked. It is what we needed. And now, we desperately need to make sure we make it to one of the bosses to make sure they're not grabbing it. It looks like Zeradul, sorry, Rainer out of position. He's going to get away with it. Whatever. We're not going to chase that. We're going to try to get to the top tribute. 4v5. This will be a big moment if we can get away with it. The friendly team already in a sketchy position. Can we make it here? Singular spike. Singular spike. Let's go ahead and engage right here. Global Singular spikes again. Try to get as much damage as we can. And we do pull the teleport. Come on, get to him. It looks like we do secure the kill at the very least. And now we're going to try to just get out of it. We do eventually die. We pick up the kill and hammer. They'll put him out of position. And this is going to allow the friendly team to actually engage here. Zul trying to engage in Zeratul. Good prison. And guess who's coming now? Jaina with the Kona Cold and the Blizzard. Zeratul barely getting out alive. Will they be able to kill him? If they have both of the Storm, this will be a big kill. However, he's going to get away in the nick of time. Jaina might throw it. Just throw it. There we go. Thank you. Just in case he was hiding boldly right there. That would have been significant. But we do pick up the tribute. We pick up a couple kills. We lose Li Ming and myself. Not a big deal, though. I think it was definitely worth it. Picking up the kill and hammer. That Shadow Assault is so silly. I love it. Uh, I definitely feel like Void Prison would definitely be a bigger pickup because I could decide what to do. But it feels really silly in order to uh, in order to chase somebody to have to have you know that, that that in your face attitude and it worked out that time because the moment you displace hammer their entire game plan goes sideways because now Grayman can penetrate our soul can move on our Jaina can do those devastating combos on the enemy team look at the friendly team wants to go really aggressive here on the boss which might be the best move they can make the enemy team still down a couple players I will be back momentarily so I will definitely make it here if the enemy team decides to counterplay so we'll make it there immediately and then of course we will try to run to their boss and deny the capture there that would be a big play we do we can't afford we can actually afford to not take that oh Zeratul jumping in here tons of damage going out can we blink on there let's go ahead and jump in right here tons of damage going out on this Zul we're gonna be able to secure the kill no the throw pit was real and that is good game man that was devastating towards the end the friendly team able to get in there we don't have any tanks so that's a, that's a really risky play uh, we were unable to really secure the kills. They were doing a really good job of blanking here. They, they can just grab this in the back line. As somebody, in fact, they can just let Zeratul grab it. They're going to push this right into the core. 40 seconds. Un in inconceivable that they don't win this game right now. But that, that 36 skills to 33. Excellent comeback on the, on the enemy team. They did a really good job sticking with it. They did a really good job picking their fights. And that last second was vital. They waited to have all their people together. And they came in and they punished us severely don't, not letting it to chance and that is going to be all she wrote as they move in here you can't win them all but it was a lot of fun my name is al and i hope you enjoyed that video i will see you all next time